What's up guys, today I wanna to do a follow-up video for a tutorial I already did on how to add a field for gift notes, for engravings, for any sort of product customization. And that's this tutorial here, add a note field to products in Shopify 2.0. And I showed you how to add this field basically using the custom liquid block. But in today's tutorial, I wanna show you how to output this message to the order confirmation email that the customer receives when they buy from your store. So this is what that email may look like after you've done this tutorial. We're just gonna be outputting this line here that outputs that message or whatever you have as your product customization. This tutorial will also work if you did not follow my tutorial, like if you didn't follow this video, but you're using bold product options or you're using some other kind of app or a different tutorial or a different method to add product uh, customizations here, you can still follow today's tutorial to be able to output them to the email. So let's get started. Now the first thing that we want to do is open up the order confirmation email template. To do that we go to settings and then we go to notifications. This is where all the email templates are stored. This is the code for all of the emails in Shopify. The one we're looking for is the first one in this list, the order confirmation. So let's click into that. And what you'll see is a bunch of code, HTML and liquid. Now we can actually preview this email using the preview button here. And yeah, that shows you what the email looks like, but this actually isn't very useful for us because it won't show any product customizations here. So what I mean is the stuff that we fill out here, the preview button, when you click it, it it doesn't know that we have that stuff, so it's not going to populate anything into those fields. So what we need to do instead is make test orders on your store. There are two ways to do this. You could set up bogus payments under payment methods. This is a, the bogus gateway, which is included in Shopify. And you might need to turn off Shopify payments or whatever your main payment method is, Stripe or whatever, in order to turn on the bogus gateway. Once you turn that on, you can use fake credit card details like 111, um, something like that to make a test order. But the second and uh, probably the easier way to make a test order is what I'm doing right now which is just to have a free product, you know, a product that costs $0 and also to have free shipping so that you don't have to pay anything during checkout and you can just make as many test orders as you want of this free product. Okay, once you've sorted out how you're actually gonna make test orders, let's get back into this order confirmation email template. Now, the email template, we don't really need to edit a lot of the code here, we're just going to be adding something in. I'll just tell you quickly that just in case you need this information, if you want to change the wording in your email, for example, if you want to change thank you for your purchase to any other type of words, you can change that here. If you want to change you will receive an email, you can change that. Just don't touch anything that's in between curly braces like this. And then further down the email as well, things that are in HTML, you know, you can change this without actually touching the HTML tags. But anyway, what we want to do is scroll down to find the code relating to every item in our cart or every item that was purchased, actually. And I'll show you what we're looking for using this preview. Again, I'm just going to open up the Chrome inspector by clicking here, clicking inspect, and this is in Google Chrome, but you can basically see the class names, the HTML, you can see the HTML of uh, these items. So this is called span dot order list item title. And then this is order list item variant, I want my code directly below that, but still inside of this uh, description cell, right. So I'm going to look for these. And I'm going to put my code directly below that. So here we are on line 191. And this is the product description cell, which is the container inside of which we want to put our code. And then here we have the item title, which is the title of the product. And then we have the variant title, which goes directly below that. So we're going to make some space here. And we're going to be pasting our code into here around line 210. 
Now the actual code, I'm not going to write it out line by line. I've already posted it on my website ed.codes. So go there, click on tutorials, and then find this tutorial, the order confirmation email. And this is the code that we need. I'll run you through it quickly. But first, let's just paste it in. So paste it in here. Let's just highlight this a bit and tab in so it's nice and neat so that these unless tags line up. And these ones too. let's just tab in like that. So that looks pretty good. And guys, okay, quick pause, because as I was editing this video, I just realized that I already had the code pasted in here, and I forgot to remove it. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration. So just ignore the fact that I have this twice. Okay, you can just ignore this. And uh, for you, it will look like this, the code that you will be pasting in will be in between this variant line with this end if and the line after it will be if line dot selling plan allocation. Okay, but now let's just move on with the video, you just be seeing two of these, but it's not really a big deal. Now let me walk you through this code kind of quickly. So you just understand what's going on. And maybe you can make your own edits if you really need to. So the first line is basically just checking that there is a note field that it exists, something like this, right? If there is, then we're probably going to be outputting something. So we output this container div, then we loop through each of these properties. Um, and what that means is that you might have multiple of these. So you might have multiple message fields, you might have a message field, and like a drop down, something like that, right? If you're if your situation is more complex, and then it loops through those, and it checks that those have been actually filled out on this line. So if someone's filled this out, then it will output something. If nothing has been filled out, then we don't want to output, you know, message and then something blank, right? If, if people have left that blank, we'd rather just not output anything, right? Like here. And then the actual body of this is paragraph text. And we have property dot first and property dot last separated by this uh, colon symbol. And property dot first is obviously the heading of that property of that field. And uh, property dot last is the value. And I've wrapped it all in small, in this small tag, because that's an easy way to make something just a little bit smaller, uh, just so it's kind of like this size, otherwise, it would be quite big, it'd be like the product title size, but you can feel free to change this, you can get rid of the small tags, if you want it to be a bit bigger, you can uh, add a style tag into the paragraph, and you can make something a different color, right? This is all depending on your level of knowledge of HTML and CSS, you can make some small changes to this, you can make the first or the last one bold by uh, by wrapping it in strong tags, like so, right, that would make the actual value bold, while this stays regular. Um, lots of things that you can do. But I'm going to get rid of this for now. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to save and uh, another thing that I want to remind you of is you can always revert this template to default, right in case you mess anything up, in case you test your email after this, and something's gone wrong, if you've made a typo here or something, you can reset it and kind of redo this tutorial or something. And so finally, you're all done. Now that you've saved it, you can go through and make a test order, make sure that everything's working that you can see it in cart in checkout, and then finally in the email, and I actually just made a test order. And that's the point when I realized that I had left my previous code from before recording this inside. And that's why it's outputting this twice for me, but it will be only once for you. And one last thing that I just realized, if you want to have this message visible in the email that you yourself as the store owner receive when someone orders from your store, you can also add this here by going to settings notifications, scrolling all the way down to the bottom and finding the new order template, go into that template, scroll down to line 183. And as you can see, I've added the same code, exactly the same code, no changes uh, to line 183, directly under the if line dot skew, where it outputs the skew of the product, and above the if line dot selling plan allocation, 
again as in the previous template. That's pretty much all there is to this tutorial. If you have any questions, if you want me to elaborate on something, please let me know. If you found this video helpful, if you got it done, then please leave a like. And yeah, that's all for today. Good luck with it. And I'll see you next time.